Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a cylinder in isometric projection given its radius r and its height h, as can be seen here on the screen. So here you can see the isometric projection with its three axes x, y and z and its origin o. Isometric projection is a method for visually representing three-dimensional objects in two-dimensional drawings, in technical and engineering drawings. We are going to start by constructing a rectangular prism in which we are going to inscribe the cylinder. As you can see on the screen, the dimensions of the rectangular prism are the same height as the cylinder and the outer sides are double the given radius as shown in red lines on the screen. We are going to learn how to construct it aligned to the z-axis but you can also draw it aligned with the x-axis or the y-axis as demonstrated here on the screen and the process is exactly the same for the three axes. Now we are going to start constructing the cylinder along the z-axis so the first step is setting the compass to the given length 9 centimeters, and transporting this length onto the z-axis. So setting the compass on the origin O we scribe an arc on the z-axis obtaining a new point O1. So the next step is to draw parallel lines to the x and the y axis from this new point O1 as shown here. So now setting the compass to the given radius r which is 4 centimeters we are going to transport it two times onto each of the previously drawn axes. So setting the compass on O1, we scribe an arc to the right and the left, obtaining T1 on the x-axis and T2 on the y-axis. And now setting the compass on T1, we get a third point A. And setting the compass on T2 with the same radius, we scribe an arc to get a fourth point B, as can be seen here. So the next step is to draw parallel lines to the x-axis passing through points T1 and A, as shown here. And now we repeat this process, drawing parallel lines from T2 parallel to the y-axis and from B also parallel to the y-axis as shown here and we obtain new points. So now we're going to draw a perpendicular vertical line from point B until it cuts the x-axis at a new point which we will call D and from O2 and from point A another perpendicular vertical line until it cuts the y-axis at a new point which we will call C as can be seen here. So to complete the box we are going to inscribe the cylinder in we are going to draw a parallel line to the y-axis from point D and to finish the box we are going to draw a parallel line to the x-axis from point C as shown here. Where they intersect with the z-axis we get a new point which we will call O7. So the next step we join points A and B as shown here and now we're going to join O1 to T4 and where this line intersects the line segment AB we get a new point which we will call 03 and now we will repeat this process joining point O1 to T3 obtaining another new point O4 as shown here. So now we are going to draw the top part of the cylinder with four arcs using the four center points O1 to O4 which we've just obtained. So setting the compass on O1 with a thicker line we scribe an arc from T3 to T4 and now setting the compass on O2 with the length O2 T1 we scribe an arc from T1 to T2 in a thicker line as shown here. And finally to complete the oval, setting the compass on point O4, we join points T2 to T3. And finally 
setting the compass on 05 or on 03 sorry we join points t4 to t1 So now that we have obtained the top part of the cylinder, we are going to repeat the same process on the bottom. So we're going to join point C to D, as can be shown, as can be seen here. And now we're going to draw a parallel line going through the center point, parallel to the Y axis, obtaining points T6 and T8, and another one parallel to the X axis, obtaining obtaining points T5 and T7, now joining the origin O to T7 and the origin O to T8, we get two new points, O5 and O6 as shown here. So now we're going to draw the outline of the cylinder. So we draw a vertical perpendicular line from point E until it cuts the line segment CD at a new point G and the same on the right from point F obtaining a new point H on the line segment CD. And now we're going to finish the bottom by setting the compass on 05 and joining G to T8 and setting the compass on 04, joining T7 to H. And now setting the compass on the origin, we're going to join T7 to T8 in a thicker line as shown here. And finally, the last part, we're going to draw in a dotted line, setting the compass on 07 and joining points T5 to T6 to G to H in a dotted line as it's hidden at the back of the cylinder. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Until the next time.